in you and me. And Jesus says, it's everything. Everything about you, your imperfections, your flaws, your mistakes, your shortcomings, all of that he can love so that he can transform it to something even greater. God does not look at you and judge you and contempt you and condemn you, but he wants to live with you in the place that he is preparing in heaven. Now, right now, I'd like to do something that we haven't had the opportunity to do in the past, past two weeks. And we know that this was not the mission that we have been given to. But as future ministers of the Lord, this is the mission that He wants us to do. There are, I know for sure, for a fact, that there are people here who have not claimed Christ as their Savior. There are people here who perhaps are being deceived, perhaps are being, are following the wrong direction. I know there are some people here who, who have been moved and touched by the messages that we have learned in the past. And I know it could be very difficult to stand up and believe all of these things when in your previous life or in your the, the, in most of your life you've learned the complete opposite but once again I want to say that this is not my message for you I didn't come up of this when I wake up this morning and said I'm gonna tell them about this just because I want to tell you this message because I myself have received this message I myself have experienced Jesus Christ. I myself, and it's not my message, but it is the Bible's message that I'm trying to share to you today. I'm not asking you to claim him of my own behalf because just like we've learned, no other party could be a part of your relationship with God, but that's only between you and God. So right now I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna make two appeals. If there are some people here who wants to recommit their lives to Jesus, who in their lives, I'm one of them, have been going through this struggle of being distracted about the world, about the worldly things and all the distractions that the enemy is trying to give you so that you will turn away your face from God, I invite you to stand up. I invite you to stand up and claim that God Claim my life again. Take my life and let it be the way you want it to be. Not how I want it to be, but the way you want it to be. If you want God to, to change and to, to restart the fire inside of you, I invite you to claim that promise by standing up. And the second appeal is for people who wants to claim Jesus as their life, Savior, and Redeemer. Who wants to claim him as the one who gives us the love that we do not deserve even though we had went throughout our lives doing what we want to do now is the time when Jesus is saying even though you've turned your backs away from me over and over again I will still pursue you and I will still find something to love in you and what does Jesus says? He says, everything about you, not just one part of you, not just your service in the ministry, not just you going to church, not just you sharing my gospel, but I love every bit and aspect about you. So if that is you, if the Holy Spirit is moving you to claim Jesus as your Savior, I invite you to come to the front and we will pray for you.
want to try one last time before I pray. You don't need to be afraid. It's not anyone else here that has the decision to decide whether that person is worthy to be saved. Even if there's people looking around you, they're not the one going to decide if you deserve to go to heaven. It is not even yourself that will decide if you deserve to heaven, but God is only asking you, do you want to go to heaven? Lord God, look at your people here tonight or this morning, Lord. Look at them stand up for your name. Look at them claim you as their savior. They're asking you to help them rededicate their lives unto you, Lord. Lord, they realize that this world really is scary, but we're so thankful that this world does not end here, but there is a future for us. Lord, I also pray, I know there are people here who are still in the great controversy of worship. And Lord, even though how uncomfortable it may be, how awkward it could be, it doesn't matter what the world says because Jesus says that he loves us. Jesus says that he, that he will do anything and everything for us. So Lord, I pray a very special prayer for those who are listening today that are, haven't yet made that decision. May you bless them with your Holy Spirit. Send your angels to fight the enemy who's trying so hard to deceive them and coerce them. But we are reminded, Lord, that this beast, this enemy is living here on earth and trying to gain power over this earth. But Lord, we know that this earth will soon pass away and a new heaven and a new earth will come. And Lord, it is very important that we are to be on the right side of the battle, the right side of the controversy, Lord. And I hope and pray that all of us here today will be together in heaven someday. This is our prayer. In your precious holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen.